The gun camera footage of a Navy fighter jet taken of what has been described to be a UFO has been making the rounds and is being used to raise funds. Apparently it is a video which was leaked many years ago. Let's look at a possible explanation not generally considered by the public based on what we actually know of this, separated from some basic assumptions, and with the idea of a military need introduced into the problem. The craft and the others have been described by these criteria. Number one, sudden and instantaneous acceleration which would kill any biological entities inhabiting these craft. Two, hypersonic velocities with no heat trail, sonic booms, or any observable fluid dynamics effects in friction or displacement on the atmosphere. Three, low observability. Four, positive lift with no associated aerodynamic structure or engines and no wings, and they're not balloons. Since such craft violate our understanding of classical physics, people have speculated these craft are beings without crafts operate through some mechanism in the quantum area that humans haven't figured out as of yet. What we are faced with are craft which can't physically operate in the world as we understand it, yet have visual and radar presence. This is where the leap of understanding and my thoughts occur, and I hope to persuade you to follow. These are not real objects, but false optical and radar constructs generated by plausible human technology created for military applications. Imagine if false observations of aircraft in visual and radar formats could be generated to cause opponents to focus on and attack targets which aren't real. We don't hear, smell, or touch aircraft in general. All we know of their possible existence are visuals and radar returns. And these particular ones admit no sound like sonic booms or engine noise. There are stealth aircraft, real aircraft which avoid detection. How about the exact opposite, something not real that is falsely detected? The analysis of this phenomenon got off to a biased start when the term UFO was used. Even when it is not used to imply alien spaceships, the term states that it is a flying object. No, all we know is the optical and radar phenomena exist, which tend to imply an object is actually there. Whether these phenomena are generated by actual objects or by technology designed to create false targets, we don't know. And this technology would have to be tested on our own pilots, radar men and their commanders, so our defense contractors can observe both how our Navy and Air Forces would react if such a situation is created by an adversary, as well as how an adversary would likely react and where the defects in the technology might lie. Such a system would have to be able to confuse and trick professional airmen and radar men to work. And that is who the scientists would have to target for realistic testing. The subjects for the experiment could not be told of the experiment beforehand in order to generate honest reactions. After such a test, the subjects would not be told of the experiment because such knowledge would create security problems. They are not in a need-to-know situation. In the movie The Final Countdown, at the point weird things began to happen to the aircraft carrier and its crew, the captain accused a defense contractor who had been assigned to the ship of having been sent there to observe an experiment. He wasn't, but obviously these type experiments do occur. Can such technology which is able to project optical illusions and false radar returns exist? The technology to project holograms has existed quite a while and is being improved. The commercial devices now available to use at concerts and in advertising are fantastic. One can only imagine what the military may have that can transmit at distances. If these hologram lasers generate a plasma, that plasma at a location where the holograms are being generated may also reflect radar signals. This would explain why the objects appeared and disappeared suddenly, because the objects don't exist, just the optical and radar signals do. And these objects have low observability because the system may not, at this stage, these tests were conducted, work that well. I'm not saying the things observed aren't spacecraft from outside our solar system or beings visiting us through some quantum mechanism we have not discovered as of yet. What I am saying is that these incidents may be something which has not been considered by the public up until this point. 
humans working for a defense contractor on a system designed to confuse opposition forces through false targets. In science fiction, the Martians invaded the Earth. In science fact, humans through our machines invaded Mars. Our fellow humans are likely the invaders in this case. The aircraft carrier probably was not being stalked by space aliens, but by the scientists of a defense contractor running an experiment. It is likely that current non-public human technology designed to fulfill a known military need based on technology we publicly know to exist actually is behind these incidents. However, I can't provide any real proof of this any more than others can provide alien bodies or craft of an alien origin. Maybe they are aliens.